Okay, next will be the two drain boards on either side here. So I'll go to File, New Design, and call this 18.25 by 23 by 0.5. Enter and go to top view, sketch, two point rectangle, select the plane, and this will be twenty three by eighteen point two five. Enter, enter. Home view, right click, press pull, and this will be 0.5, enter, modify, physical material, wood, and then save. And then close. This one here we're going to insert at this point right here. Since on an angle we're going to have to uh, move it, uh, use the move command uh, to angle it down. Okay, let me bring this in. And let me pull this up here. Enter. Okay, so I'm going to go to modify, align, click this point and this point, and click OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Move this up. Hit Enter. Modify, align this point with this point. OK. OK, so now I'm going to zoom here, change angle a little. And I'm going to go to Modify, Move, and Move Components. And making sure that it's the component that you want to move is actually highlighted. And making sure that it is aligned with the joint, which is right here. You can see it moving on the joint. Click on it and grab this handle right here. And you can see it hinge with it. So I'm going to be going down so it looks like it's positive. So I'm going to go two degrees, so I'm going to enter two, enter. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Right click, repeat move, move components, align here. And that's going to be two, enter. Okay, so now we have our two boards there for the uh, for the water to run down. All right. All right, that just leaves two pieces of the puzzle left. Uh, one is the uh, drain board going this way, and the actual where the drain will be where the water goes down. Okay, so let me go to File, New Design, save this as three by forty-two by point. Five, hit enter. Top and sketch rectangle two point. Select the plane. This one I'm going to go this way. 
So it's going to be 3 by 42. Hit enter, enter. Press pull. And then 0.5. Modify physical appearance wood and then save and then close that. All right, we'll go ahead and bring this in, pull this up, hit. Enter. Now I'll uh, zoom around here. And go modify a line. Select here and here. Now you notice that when it aligned it, it actually aligned it on the plane too, so that's actually on an angle, but we want it flat. So what I'll do is uh, zoom in here and go modify, move, and select move component. And similar to before, we're going to tilt it, but uh, we got to make sure we're on this object aligned with this point right here and with this one we can pick it up. It was on a two degree angle so basically we need to make it looks like going up is minus so we're gonna go minus two enter and then we'll pivot around here make sure it's actually the the correct distance we can go to the inspection tool click here and here and it's 0.123 okay and you try that again here here 0.123 okay so it's exactly the same so it is flat Okay, so but now we need the board sloping down. So we're going to do that again. Go to modify, move, and move component. Make sure we have that one highlighted and on this edge. And grab this one. We can see that going down is. is negatives. So I'm going to do this at one degree. So I'm going to enter negative one. Enter. And you can see it sloping down if we spin around here. You can see it sloping down. You can see a gap right there. Okay, now the last part, which is the, the actual drain board where the, uh, the drain will go in. So I will go to File, New Design, and I will call this 3 by 3 by 0.5, Enter, and then Sketch, Rectangle, select the plane. This will be 3, Tab, 3, Enter, enter, press pull, be point five, enter, modify physical appearance, wood, close. Okay, and save that. And then I'll close that. Now I will swing into position here. And 
and I will drag this in and I will grab this and move it up here enter okay move in and I will align that modify align here and here now since it's aligned with this one right here this is actually on a slope so I'm gonna need to me spin this spin this around here a little bit zoom in here and I'll go to modify move and then just like before look here and looks like it's in a positive direction so I'm going to enter one enter and then we try spinning around here let me check to make sure it's actually flat. Inspect from here to here is 0.123. Repeat. Oh, close. Measure from here to here there must be multiple ones in here let me pull this down let me close this measure here and here okay there we go this is a previous measurement uh, 2.036 close from here to here 0 0.036 okay so that's the same dimension okay great so that is flat okay we go to the home position all right there we have it Okay, well, I'm not going to get into the the furring strips or the pieces of wood that are uh, put underneath under here to actually hold these boards up. Uh, that would be just be like a, a one by uh, wood that would be nailed on here, and this would then be attached to it. Um, also, the same thing for this gap right here, a piece of wood would be put right here uh, to fill up that gap there. Um, one thing I do need to do, though, is need to uh, make a hole for this drain right here. Right there. Uh, now, we could make the, the hole right here, but an easier way to do it is actually to open up the original drawing here and go to the top view and go to sketch line, select the plane, go to the center, and there, and then go to circle, center diameter, select the center there, and the first hole, say it needs to be, I don't have the exact dimensions, but say it needs to be one and a half inches all the way through, be 1.5 enter enter and see the flange is two inches right click repeat center diameter and go uh, say two and a half uh, no say two two enter enter okay so I'm going to delete this line and go to the home view and right click press pull 
select here and just pull that all the way through enter and then press pull again oops all right gonna turn the uh, sketch back on sketch two turn that back on press pull select that one and take that down a quarter of an inch 0.25 enter oops we went up go back right click press pull select here sorry it's negative 0.25 enter and hit enter and we can then turn off that sketch and there it is go to the home view and I will go ahead and save that okay now I will go back to here and now you will notice that there is a warning right here and you'll see it's also over here and that is this component because we just changed it it's telling you that it's been updated so if I right click on this and go to get latest we now have a hole in it all right that's pretty cool huh all right well that's it for this design all right me uh go back to home view all right there we go all ready for the framing uh, also one other thing to mention is if you look at here you actually have a complete list of all the lumber that you need to uh, to do the job uh, if you don't have the uh, saws or anything you need you could take this list over to Home Depot or whatever lumber place you have and they can cut the wood for you all right 